Jackson. So today is Stoke City away. So um, yeah, Dad, what is your thoughts and feelings of the game today? Yeah, I think it's going to be a tough game, of course, with all the injuries that we have. Um, we're really into our second string players and I think we all know what they've shown us over the last couple of seasons. So it's going to be extremely tough, but it's uh, for any chance for us to make the playoffs, we've got to win today. So I'm going to go for a scrappy and horrible 1-0 win to the Baggies. Uh, and hopefully we can uh, defend, get Alex Palmer back in goal, organise that defence a little bit. Um, so fingers crossed we'll be able to do it. So come on you Baggies. So yeah, my predictions are a 2-0 win. This playoff is going to be coming down right to the wire. It really is. Because we are so close yet so far away from the playoffs. And it's not mathematically impossible. So we could make it. We could do it. We could do it in the end. So yeah, I'm going to say 2-0 win. Dad says 1-0 scrappy win. So yeah. So out of the last three games, we've only won one game. So we've won two. So yeah, make of that what you will, I guess. So the three top goal scorers uh, for Stoke is Tyrese Campbell, uh, Lewis Baker, and um, Jacob Brown. So yeah. So the three top goal scorers for West Brom are Daryl DK, Brandon Thomas and Joe Wallace. So our total record against Stoke is we've won 50, we've drawn 37, we've lost 64. That is our current record overall. Alright, back in sun, this is the lineup as you can see there. That is a, a decent lineup. Uh, two points. Yeah? Go for it. I mean, I'm trying to just do it now. No passing, not shot on goal. No, really poor. Really poor. Honestly, I think DK uh, is injured. Going to be uh, out for a while, it looks like. So, I don't think it get any worse than this, can it, Dad? No, I think it's the end of the game already. Yeah. 
So yeah, one nil. Uh, see you at full time then. So it's the, the after match review now. So we've won 2 1. What a comeback, Dad. That was a brilliant comeback. So, what are your thoughts and feelings of the game, Dad? So uh, you're right. I didn't, uh, I didn't see it at half time at all that we could get back into the game. Um, but Malumbi was, was fantastic, man of the match by, by some way. Um, average game, two, two very average teams. Quite honestly, not much between us and Stoke. Um, when they got their noses in front, I thought it would be difficult as I've never seen us win at Stoke the amount of times I've been here at this stadium and the old one. So it's a first. The sun's shining. It, it's, this just never happens when you come to Stoke. So overall, um, yeah, it's still in our hands. Um, I think it's an uphill task, especially now with our Daryl. Hopefully he'll be OK. Um, needs to get fit though, he just hasn't been fit all season. Um, but overall, yeah, three points on Malumbi, fantastic. I've got to give credit, second half, Albion were a different team, bit of spirit, bit of fight, just what we need. So let's keep it going to, to Tuesday against Blackpool and hopefully we can get the three points and keep this opportunity open for us. All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for the lad. I mean, you know, scoring two goals as a, as a midfield, I mean, it's brilliant. Uh, especially without um, your constantly either, we played really well. Uh, I thought Chalabur again, absolutely rubbish. Doesn't know what he's doing. Can't string a pass together. Same old, same old. So yeah, uh, I thought it was a brilliant win. Stoke, average like Dad said, and we were average as well before we come up with two goals. So yeah, um, this might be our last vlog of the season. Maybe against Swansea, because we are going to be going to that, but Blackpool will not. We're not going to do any home games. Yeah, that'll probably be the last vlog of the season. Maybe besides Swansea. So yeah, we'll see you guys either at Swansea or next season.